That's why I'm excited to be here today to see these bricks laid at the new Sunco facility. Because Middletown is a steel town and Ohio is a steel state and this coke plant will help keep it that way. This facility will provide 550,000 tons of blast furnace coke each year for AK Steel. 100 new heat recovery ovens, and they are the most technologically advanced in the world. What we are seeing built here today is the best of the best, and we're proud of that. Hundreds of people are working to build this plant and new jobs will be created to run it. The state of Ohio partnered with you and fought hard to see that this plant received all of the necessary permits and approval from the US EPA so that Suncoke could come to this site and create these new jobs in this community. So it's a great day for Suncoke, for Middletown, for Ohio. But this is not the only good thing that's happening in Ohio. In recent months, we've seen economic gain and growth because in recent years, we've been investing in Ohio's advantages. I have uh, participated in the ribbon cutting of steel mills and I have um, participated in the beginnings of new technology centers and new factories and new energy facilities. Uh, some good things are happening, and today we are here to celebrate what's happening here. I believe in Ohio because Ohio and Ohioans have never given up, we've never given out, we've never given in, and we never will. We are people with steel in our backbones. And right here, right now, today, we are seeing signs of a brighter future for Ohio and for America. Mike Thompson, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Atlanta, it's good to see you. I met Atlanta in Washington. I was glad to see her there. I'm even way more glad to see her in Butler County. So thank you for joining us. Uh, I appreciate uh, so much, Jim, the work that you've done, not just on this for Middletown and for Ohio, but uh, what you and Alan and Dave Horn and others at AK have done in cooperation with me last few years, and I appreciate that so much. Um, governor Strickland, who I would say is the first governor since Governor James Rhodes to actually focus on Ohio manufacturing and what that means to the future in our, of our state. And I, I listened to what Jim said about manufacturing, about manufacturing in this country, how it creates wealth, how it has so many spin-off jobs, if you will, the multiplier effect of manufacturing, what it does for a community. And it's clear in many ways that nationally, in terms of manufacturing, too many cases we've lost our way. I, I look at, uh, just go back 30 years, almost one-third of our gross domestic product was manufacturing. Financial service was 11% of our gross domestic product in 1980. Today, that's almost flipped. Manufacturing is only 11 or 12 percent of our GDP. Financial service is about 25 percent. And look where that has taken us as a country, how important it is. It was manufacturing, especially Ohio manufacturing, that won World War II. And it's manufacturing, especially Ohio manufacturing, that has created a middle class in this country and created the kind of prosperity. And that's, that's really what Jim Wayne Scott was talking about in terms of why it's so important this, not just the 86 jobs as important as, as they are to this community, not just the trades, uh, Scott, Jim, and Lynn, the machinist jobs, but the trades jobs that are going to lay the bricks and build this facility, but what this means in terms of starting, I hope, starting a new day in American manufacturing, in Ohio manufacturing. The governor and I were with the vice president three, uh, uh, yeah, was for last Friday, or last Monday in Toledo, uh, where we are seeing the beginning of a rebirth in American manufacturing at Jeep in Toledo. Uh, just a year ago, the Jeep Wrangler and the Jeep Cherokee, I believe, used 60% American products as its components 
in the assembly of that Jeep. Today, in their, sort of the new Jeep in Toledo, they're using upwards of 75% of American components. Still not good enough, still too much from China, but we are seeing real progress, and I think a very new attitude from, from elected officials, more importantly from business leaders and from community people in beginning to turn this country around in terms of manufacturing trying to build that Governor Strickland has done with Ohio Manufacturing that I have tried to do with companies as, as disparate as AK Steel and a plant tour I took at Wyandotte in Marion, Ohio that makes corn chips uh, and everything in between what that means for us as a state, what that means for us as a country. Uh, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to be part of this. We don't get to do nearly as many of these things as we like, but I know that it's, it's, it really is going to be the beginning of much more public focus, much more business focus on rebuilding manufacturing, making sure the investments are in this country, providing American jobs in the United States of America. Uh, thank you for letting me be part of this today. To the International Union of Bricklayers and Allied Craft Workers, I'm going to present this honorary membership to Governor Strickland. Thank you. I'm honored. I know. I now know what I'll do if November the second doesn't go as I hope. Thanks, Henry.